sweet little friends. Oh, how I miss you. I miss you so much. Um, today we are going to talk about the letter U. We started it already. We did our alphabet book. You made your umbrella. You hopefully made your short U flip book for words that make the short U sound. Let's start with uh, uh, uh. That's the short U sound. Um, I know we've already talked about the letter U earlier in the year when we learned about all the letters. We're now going back over them and we're practicing their sounds and how to write them and how to read words with those letters in them. So we're going to work on letter U today and U is a pretty easy letter to write. So I'm going to show you that really quick and then we're going to talk about our work in our Chicka Chicka Boom Boom book. Okay? When you look at a capital U, you can see that it starts at the top line and it's going to be one move. See the number one? It's just down, back up. Start at the top, down to the bottom line, back up to the top. Easy peasy. Okay, watch me. Start at the top and I'm going to go down, up, just like that. And again, start at the top, down, back up, easy peasy. There you have the capital U. Now, moving on to lowercase u. It shows it as two moves, but I want you to understand that the first move is from the dotted line down all the way up to the dotted line. Down, up, and then the second move is from the dotted line and you trace back down. Okay, watch. It's down, up, keep your pencil or crayon on the paper and then you just trace straight back down. Okay, watch again down up keep your pencil or crayon there and go right back down one more time down up straight down so it's like your crayon is always moving okay all right i want you to practice this now with pencil here down up down up and i want you to pay really close attention to the size of these letters so that you're practicing them the right size okay Capital letters start and end at the top for the letter U, okay? Lowercase starts and at the dotted line, goes to the dotted line, back down. See that? So go ahead and do your work in your book. You want that U to come, the line in the U to come straight back down. Some of you do this. And that is not correct. That didn't come straight back down. Watch. Down, up, straight back down. So this one is not what I wanna do. Watch again. Down, up, straight line down. Okay? Okay, just really quick, we wanna make sure that we know what we're doing here. It says U is for, hmm, umbrella. Yep, it's umbrella, the picture matches. Now, color the pictures that begin with you. I'm gonna tell you what I think the pictures are and you on your own are going to decide if you think they start with you. Apple, udder, see where the milk comes out of the cow? That's called the udder. Oh, that's an umpire, like in baseball, an umpire. Oh, how I miss baseball. Oh, but it's good to see an umpire there. Then we have, I'm gonna say iguana, iguana. And whale, one more time. Apple, udder, umpire, iguana, whale. Now you decide which ones start with a U, but you're gonna label all of them with lowercase letters, okay? So you're gonna color the ones that begin with a U and you're going to label underneath all of them with lowercase letters. I'll show you with the first one. I know that apple starts with A, so I'm gonna make an A here, okay? And I'm not gonna color it because it doesn't start with a U. Color the ones that start with U, lowercase letter labels under the pictures. I decided for my drawing, I'm going to make um, a sentence that shows up. I wanna use the word up. So I'm drawing some stairs here so that I can show 
and right about going up, like up the stairs. So I made some stairs. I'm going to color them in. I'm going to draw an arrow that shows going up. Mm -hmm. This arrow is like a symbol of direction and the arrow is going up. And now I'm going to write my sentence. Okay. And I want you to know though, if you prefer to think of your own sentence that has a word in it that starts with a U and you would like to draw that, it's perfectly fine with me. What matters to me is that when you do your writing, that you follow our four rules for writing, right? Start with a capital letter, use space between your words, make your punctuation show at the end of your sentence, end punctuation. And then of course, a beautiful picture that matches your writing. And your beautiful picture should follow the rules for three star coloring too, right? Okay, so I'm gonna write my sentence now. It's also going to use several TK sight words. So my sentence is going to be, I can go up the stairs. Oh my goodness, that covers so many TK sight words so that I can practice writing words I know and um, practice all my writing skills that I've learned. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna write I, finger space, can, finger space, go down into the basement with that G. I can go, finger space, up. I can sound out, uh, uh, uh. Puh, puh, puh. Ooh, that's a P. Up, I can go up. Now I'm gonna do the TK sight word, the, after finger space. The, T-H-E, T-H-E. I can spell the T H E. I can go up the stairs. St T. Now, air is kind of tricky. It's A I R. That says stair, but I wanted to say stairs. S so an S. Now, definitely don't want to forget my end punctuation. Let me check it. I, capital I, can go up the stairs. Good. Now, if I wanted to, I could even draw myself here. I think I will because I'm writing about myself. I. I'm going to add myself here. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, I drew myself. So now my picture even matches my writing more because if I'm writing I, that means me and there I am. I can go up the stairs. So I've shown up in my drawing. I've used the word up in my writing and I followed all my rules for writing. Okay, so hopefully you will do the same. You will do your very best writing. You will do your very best drawing and you will feel so proud of yourself. And when you're all done, you can kiss your brain. Good job, brain, because you did a good job. Okay, I can't wait to see the work you do. Have fun.